I want to break down my kitchen sink preset. I shared this one on the Fractal Exchange a month or so ago, and it's proved to be a really popular one. I get quite a few requests to share it, and I use this preset nearly every week to record my Sensitive Sundays series of videos. That's a nice little alliteration to get the video started there. At the moment, I'm playing my Strat with Sir ML pickups in it, and I just want to run you through the four scenes first, and then we'll have a look at the effects. So these are four of my favorite amps. Uh, scene four is using the JT. 45 and every scene has this cab in here this LT TV mix 2 which you can also get off Xchange there's also a parametric EQ on here essentially I'm just pulling out a little bit of 3k and a little bit of 5k and high and low passing at 100 hertz and 9k these are my sort of go-to with these cabs these little surgical cuts here just pull out some harsh frequencies which i don't want in there and on nearly every one of these there is a little bit of this recording studio c sort of room emulation from the reverb block you can see the settings on the amp block there let's have a quick listen to this jtm 45 scene <laughs> The idea with that one is it's essentially an edge of breakup tone and I've paired that one together with this FET boost drive block which gives you this. <laughs> So essentially going for that sort of vintage, uh, I want to say 60s inspired, even though it doesn't really sound like a true sort of 60s tone. Uh, scene two is another clean-ish tone. I've changed the reverb up here. I've kicked a bit of compression in, and then we're using the Junior Blues Fat model, which is a really underrated amp model. This is more for the sort of pristine clean stuff. <laughs> I love sitting around and just kind of noodling on Stratty Licks with that particular one. Scene one is based around the Atomic a High model with a Strat. This is just a kind of cool marshall -y style crunch on the bridge pickup. <laughs> And when I'm using that one, I like to kick on this script 90 phaser for, you know, Eddie Van Halen kind of stuff. <laughs> and you'll notice there's a modifier attached to this one here. I have a little three knob expression controller sitting on my pedal board and I've assigned the phaser rate here to one of those knobs. I actually really like the way it sounds at that minimum setting. Uh, you can also kick a drive block in front of this one. The drive I'm using here again is the FET boost. <laughs> And there's a bevy of time-based effects after the amp as well. There's also a wah in this preset, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, the final amp, even though it's on scene three, is the USA C++, one of my favorite amps. I prefer this particular scene for leads with humbucker-equipped guitars, but it sounds really good on the neck pickup of this Strat as well. <laughs> So the idea with this preset is that I've got each scene changing a different channel on the amp block. So I think of each of these four scenes as a separate, like old school rig. You know, I treat it like an amp and then I can kick all of these different effects in in front of it. So I'll go back over to this Blues Junior scene for some clean stuff and I'll just show you the different effects and the way I've got them dialed in. So you've heard the phaser. What I will do is kick in the trem. I've got it set on the harmonic trem because I just love the way that one sounds. <laughs> Uh, 
Another option is the rotary block. This is pretty much at the stock settings. I just popped this one in, but I think it sounds fantastic. <laughs> I get lost in that rotary block. Fairly often, believe me, there is a dual delay set up here. And again, I was talking about that three button little controller I've got on my board with my FC controller. I've got the delay feedback and the delay mix set to one of those. So if I wanted to do uh, cool self oscillating style effects, I can do that. But on this one, this is just a dual delay, 375 milliseconds and 500 milliseconds. <laughs> Gives you that halo around the note, which I like. I think there's a little bit of diffusion happening somewhere in there. Oh, there's no diffusion. I lie. The multi-delay I've got set up here. If you've seen my multi-delay tutorials, uh, this is basically a chorus on these two lines and then a dotted eighth and a quarter note delay. You can see the chorus settings there. I've got the mix at about 35% and I've set the high cut to 5K. This is what the multi-delay sounds like. <laughs> And there's definitely some diffusion happening there. The final effect in there is this plex delay, which is for basically big ambient pad sort of stuff. Instant time-based bliss. If I was doing ambient stuff, I might chuck on the multi-delay, a rotary, and something like the phaser in front of the amp for this kind of thing. <laughs> So that is super duper fun with that Blues Junior. I should no, uh, mention as well, I'm using a different reverb on here. I'm using the London Plate, which is one of my favorite reverb blocks, reverb, reverb blocks in the Axe FX3. So that's my like clean, clean setting. The JTM45 I would use for more of the kind of bluesy thing. <laughs> I just love the way that squishes out on those low strings. That's exactly what my real JTM45 does. What I'm going to do now is swap over to a humbucker equipped guitar, and I'll show you some of the effect settings I would use for lead stuff over there. So I find the JTM45 with this particular PRS really gets dark and saggy. <laughs> Adding the boost in there really brings it to life. The boost in front of the Blues Junior would give you this. <laughs> And 
And that is being aided by this compressor. You can see it's just a studio comp. I've boosted the level a little bit just to give it a bit more of a kick. Let's go to this Atomica scene. This is straight up. <laughs> And then in the amp block, what I've done on this one is if you go to the preamp section, I have a T808 boost tied to a control switch. So on my FC controller, I can kick this in by holding down one of the buttons. I think it's this one. <laughs> which just kind of kicks it over the edge. And I really like that for sort of 80s style stuff or if you're doing like drop tune, Alice in Chains stuff. <laughs> Or if you're doing the ragdoll stuff that I spend a lot of my time doing. Scene three, though, is where the action's at for lead stuff. Uh, that same control switch that I was holding down, I have still got assigned to the boost type. But if you just tap it, then it kicks in the fat switch. So this is a straight up sound. <laughs> That's right, I think if we look at this modifier here, it is only working on channel A. So that preamp boost only works on the Atomica, it doesn't work here. So if I wanted more, I could kick in the drive pedal and maybe I'll kick in the multi-delay on this one as well. <laughs> And that is just absolutely outrageous. What a lead scene. I've also got a multi-band comp over here just to tame some of those palm mutes if I wanted to play rhythm guitar with this scene. <laughs> And one thing I love about this is that you can get into some cool combinations. For example, rather than using a drive pedal in front of the C++, I could use a compressor. I would not normally use a compressor in front of this, but the fact that it's there gives me a cool thing. And rather than reverb or delay, I might try the Plex delay for a lead thing. <laughs> That sounds pretty fun. Or, you know, like a harmonic trim and a wah on a crazy high gain lead scene. <laughs> That's kind of got a swampy vibe about it. I really like that. And this whole preset for me is I can experiment with effects. I can experiment with different amp and effect combos. And ultimately, I just want it to be inspiring. The reason I often fire this preset up first is because I can just sit there and play, use the FC controller and put together effects combos. I don't need to like use the editor and get lost in tweaking. I know these amps all sound great with my rig and my guitars and I can hopefully get inspired and make some music. And that is the real litmus test of a great piece of gear in my opinion. So this preset is up online. You can get the IR as well. And by all means, tweak it to your needs, throw in different effects, have fun with it. And uh, hopefully it inspires you to come up with some musical ideas all of your own. Thanks for watching.